Good morning, Yacht Classic Cars Limited fans. Welcome again to, I'd like to say, sunny Retford, but it isn't. In the wake of Storm Babette, it's grey and manky outside. Uh, you'll notice the white stag is still here. Um, just waiting on the owner. He's, uh, he's arranging, dropping off another vehicle he has um, when he takes that. So that's the only reason it's here. Um, what's going on this week? Uh, this has been going on this week. I've done an awful lot with the Mini. She's wearing a lovely spotlight. It's now a lovely original Sibi Iodes, I hasten to add. Um, just bled the brakes. Okay, I've just re-bled the brakes. If you've watched the video, I stopped uh, purely because it didn't feel like it was particularly interesting. But the process is relevant. Um, I have actually bled them again since then, um, and they're all quite good now. Uh, it will need doing again. I think it still feels like there's a modicum of air in there, but the pedal is now right at the top. So, yeah, she's pretty good there. We're, we're well on our way. Um, bits to do, of course. The grill isn't on permanently. I hasten to add it was just there because I've made the brackets come through the grill. Uh, I hate brackets bolted to bumpers and things. They will need a steady bar at the top because they do wiggle a little bit because the brackets are really long. Uh, so, yeah, brakes bled. Uh, interior coming along. Driver's seat in. Uh, the dash parts have all arrived. The owner's brought me those down. They're all in a box on the boot of my... Capri gear. Okay, so these are things like, these are actually for the wheel arches, we're not using those. That's a, I'm going to use that as a pattern to make some more. He, he had a good cowling because his was broken, stuff like that. Uh, this is the stuff that goes on the dashboard underneath, on top of these. Okay, so those are the parts for that. He's also brought me a lovely binnacle. Um, it's in a box there. And it basically, I'm not going to get it out because I may still have some brake fluid on my hands, but it's, um, it houses a rev counter in the sort of factory binnacle. The yellow Spitfire is now sporting a black interior, which I think, well, it's actually classed as orange as Topaz, um, but I think you'll agree that looks significantly better. Um, I've sprayed these rather than replace them, because these are obviously quite expensive components, uh, basically because once the roof is in, you barely see them. Uh, the seats are all done. They're all retrimmed in uh, new black vinyl covers. The horseshoe there in the middle, the uh, thingy for the radio, I can't even remember what you call it, pain in the backside to do. That is now back in. Uh, new glove boxes, all that looks better. New door cards. Uh, the fan has just arrived. Had to get a good replacement uh, second-hand Spitfire fan. So that's here now. That's all good. Uh, I'd like to tell you I've done loads of work on the Capri. I haven't. Um, the F350 parts are on order and they are due any time now, so they'll be with us soon. I have basically been chewing away on the Mini and the Spitfire this week. Uh, it actually doesn't look like a lot of work, but it is quite a significant amount of work on the Spitfire. I hope you can see the difference if you watch last week's update. It's looking much, much better. Uh, I've ordered a few of the last parts for the yellow stag. So I've ordered an induction cowl there. Um, it is a Mark 1.5, so it's a transitional car. So it should have had that anyway. I believe some did, some didn't. You, you never know where you are. But anyway, I've put a Stagweber conversion on the engine rebuild, so that's that's really what it needs to finish that off one way or another. Um, it doesn't particularly want to melt a fairly expensive engine because his uh, Stromies are about on the last legs. Um, some other bits and pieces have turned up for that, so I'm going to be on with those today or maybe later. And that's pretty much it. Um, the engine's going to come out soon of the Capri. Uh, I've got a sump here. You may have seen it hanging up a little while. Uh, that's going to be modified once I can find some steel to weld it to stop it twisting, because obviously when you weld things, it distorts. I've had a massive clear up, up and down. I have sold my BMX. People have asked about the BMX. Um, it's a, a replica of an Amoco Team Champion I had when I was a kid. Um, I built it from parts. It's a Russian frame, I believe, or a German frame. It's not actually an Amoco one, and it's not rental for 531. I can assure you that weighs an absolute ton. They are original CWs, an original Mongoose seat. 
original uh, Skyway Tough Two tires, uh, wheels, sorry, with brand new tires, new platforms, new MLX brakes. I basically built a replica without the appropriate frame. Um, and then I went out for a ride on it and realized I wasn't 14 anymore. I was 40 odd and I felt a bit of a lemon and it's sat there ever since. So one of my friends is going to have it uh, as wall art, I believe. Uh, a few other bits and pieces have been getting sold off. I, I'm a, not a, a criminal hoarder, but I do keep quite a lot of bits in. Um, it's one of those things that the minute you sell it, you find you need it. And it's always 10 times more expensive than you sold it for. But yeah, I've had a bit of a clear up. Uh, a gentleman's bought the Rover V8, I think. Um, he's going to try and come up for that because he's on the south coast. So that'll be out of the way. I will also show you quickly before you go. Yeah, so I also like and have a massive collection of RC cars. Um, I, I've got about 70 at last count, most of the vintage stuff. That's an FTX. Um, I just bought it because it was for peanuts and it was a cancer relief store selling it. So I've tried to have a go. I make everything brushless. Did, did consider an RC Cars channel um, for YouTube, but there are so many people like um, Kevin Talbot and Tom Lee doing it and people like that who do really, really good channels. I, I love watching their stuff. Um, and quite honestly, I can't drive a radio control car with a pistol grip controller. I sort of can, but not very well, and I don't trust myself, and I've got no confidence anymore. So I still stick to the old vintage two-stick control because that's what I like. And if you try videoing it, it it's appalling. You, you have to stand the, the camera on something and it comes back like a potato. Um, so that's why I didn't do it. But yeah, like I say, I, I'd rather watch their stuff. It, it's kind of what I do to relax. Um, I love the stuff Kevin Talbot does with his monster trucks and that sort of stuff as well. And I, and I quite like him just to watch. Um, not in that way. Anywho, yeah, uh, so I've decided to take a little bit of time and attempt every dinner time to bring a car in because I've bought loads of broken cars and I've loads of broken cars and old cars that need restoring. And I bought all the bits for them, but I never seem to spend any me time doing it. So what I do at dinner time now is have half an hour just putting stuff back together. So like this car, I needed an opinion on it. Um, I put a brushless motor in it um, and I want to put a large opinion in and it, I've got a box full there. So I've done that. Um, it, the steering servo isn't very good. So I've ordered one of those. I don't go wild. I don't have, you know, super duper expensive stuff. Um, it's just so I can have a play with it. I don't race or anything like that. I'm not a superstar. Uh, yeah. So uh, I will say um, I don't really get much time with them because I have two young daughters, four and seven. Hi, Emily. Hi, Charlotte. Love you. Um, and they want to play with them as well. And it's quite difficult driving something that ridiculously quick um, when you're four or seven years old. And uh, I don't want to hurt them or anyone else around, quite honestly. Uh, I am bothered about breaking the car. I'd rather not, but, you know, that's the least of my worries. Anywho, uh, yeah, one of these days I'll do you a little video. I've got a load of boats, helicopters, tanks, cars. As I say, about 60 or 70 cars or something like that at the minute. I've got another one in the car, in the uh, big car. So, anywho, stay in touch. Uh, update next week. Hopefully the Mini will be all up to date by then. There are a few parts waiting to arrive. Um, so I might stop with that. This has got to be finished. Well, it doesn't have to be finished, the Spitfire, but I would like that finished. There's not a lot left to do on it, as you can see. Um, and yeah, join us next week.